Welcome to Victory, the podcast. I'm Doug Allen. I'm Kevin Connolly. And I'm Emmanuel Shrieky, filling in for Kevin Dillon. Wow. Uh, what? I mean, I mean, Jesus. You know what kind of demographics we could change this show with if we brought Emmanuel in? Right, because she's got so much time. Let me just tell you about Emmanuel. It's coming. We're getting ready to do Victory. Like, let's do something. We need to get somebody in. Call Emmanuel. This is a friend. This is what a friend does. Mm. Call Emmanuel. Hey, Emmanuel, what's tomorrow looking like for you? Any chance you pop by and do an episode of Victory? Well, I got this thing. Can you do three? I said, absolutely. She said, I'll see you tomorrow. What's the address? Like I that. Mean, by the way, why is it? Why? You right? know what that's that a friend. You know what that is? Those are the Jews. That's how we act. <laughs> that's how we conduct ourselves. Because, Emmanuel, you Those will. Those are the Jews. What you a will, ridiculous thing to uh, say. You will at some point have a podcast, and you will realize one of the most torturous things on earth is to get guests, even when you have a wildly successful podcast. Popular and successful. <laughs> and yeah. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. Yeah, you're eating a no. candy bar. <laughs> I kind. thought you were no sugar added. What's no, no, happening? I know. But oh, it's a kind bar. Right no, because <laughs> Conley doesn't serve food here, even though you were kind <laughs> enough to show up at three o'clock. Did he say, What's your order for a late lunch? No, Nothing. I, if she she I said from the parking lot, <laughs> do you have snacks? Do you have snacks? <laughs> oh, I just need a snack to keep so me going. Sad. We but had some wait, healthy alternatives. 100, it was great. Listen, I just want to say, though, that uh, two things. <laughs> it's so fun. when I, As soon as you said that, I was like, I'll make it work, right. first of all. Ugh. Secondly, Ugh, what a girl. it's so different, though. I mean, I understand, like, even trying to get people to read a script. That's ridiculous. Like, you want to shoot yourself in the head. Okay, but right. I understand reading a script. I hate reading scripts. But just asking your friends or your family to show up and do a podcast. By the way, because Emmanuel such, got such a draw. We've got two professional pickleball players, Manass and Ryan Sherry, who just want to so gold So you don't medal. think they would have been here if it were just you and I shooting the <laughs> They shit? were like, they kind of were angling, angling for who's the guest. Yeah, He's like, like, oh, it's my birthday. Can I oh, come Oh, yeah, by? yeah. By the way, did you see him throw part. that to Emmanuel? He threw that birthday <laughs> out to Emmanuel. Ryan Sherry made sure she knew it was his birthday. <laughs> did you see my reaction? It was terrible. <laughs> yeah. I'm eating chips, and then I'm like, wait, did you just say your birthday was yesterday? <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I have to send you a, a clip of the behind the scenes of Ramble On, which Emmanuel will be a part of this show, oh, even yes. though she's on so, another show. But we, on, sh yes. we shot a little thing with her uh, for, for the pilot, but she'll be, she will be in the show if we go forward and we can get her out of 100%. Canada. So, But um, we did this behind the scenes clip, which is really great. I got to send it to you and it's really emotional, but Ted, who produced it and put up all the money, um, did you see that? He's giving this speech and I'm sitting there I just didn't realize. Was it. he giving um, his like pregame speech? Or he was his giving his, his heartfelt how how much he wants to be here, and I'm I'm stuffing food down my throat, and it almost looks like a bit. <laughs> it looks like a bit. So anyway, what's going on, Lois and Clark? How's it going? It's Superman, Superman and Lois. And Lois. So, <laughs> sorry, this fucking guy. <laughs> there was a Lois and Clark, right? Yes, there was, was Dean. Like Eighty-two years and unhapp when unhappily ever after. <laughs> All right, Lois so this is not Lois and Clark, it's but Superman it's related in some Meanwhile, way. Meanwhile, going to shoot <laughs> third season in September. It's unbelievable. Oh, I can't Doug will believe, get the title. I can't believe it's the third season. I can't either. So, All right, Emmanuel, <laughs> talk to us. Talk to us a little bit about you know what, one of the, the best things about Entourage is that we were fortunate enough that we we shot at home. Right, so we were able to go home mm. in our beds every night, and, and it's it's a, it's a priceless thing to be doing. Right, priceless, so yeah. you were in Canada, and furthermore, you were there during the lockdown. Yeah. So what was <laughs> a the lockdown like? What was set like? And what what I, I know you didn't have an easy time. I know it was tough. No, no it was terrible. Well, I think <laughs> I think that when we were. I think when I came on last time, I was telling you guys like I we all suffered, and I'm not kidding at all. Right now, we all suffered like. PTSD. Major. Because we were there. We were supposed to be there for six and a half months. It ended up being 10 months. Oh. The The border was shut. So there was no, it was, it's one thing to be somewhere for 10 months. It's another when somebody says, you're not allowed to leave. Right. And if you leave, you have to come back and quarantine for two fucking weeks. That's insane. So, and and in Canada, were you free to move about, or were you kind of locked in there too? At the time, no, we weren't. We weren't so free. I mean, whatever. It's a very outdoorsy place, Vancouver. We were walking, of course, but restaurants were shut down. We weren't going to movie theaters. Like it was, it while it was rough for everybody, it was like an additional. When you have to show up to work, you're like, I'm not going to be the asshole that shuts this down, right? Because I it had just to prolongs go it also too. Because yeah, right? Conley had to go to the Kings 100. game right before we finished Ramble on. <laughs> so he had to go. <laughs> but um, and so but you weren't like even cast weren't getting together for dinner, drinks, none of that. Well, right? by the end, we actually were because we were all so safe. We were getting tested 
at least three times a week. Oh, so God. then there was a crew of us that we, I had a huge balcony in Vancouver. Right. And people would come over, we'd order in, we'd sit outside on the balcony, and we made the best of it. And, right. it, and you know the crazy part is that while that's happening, you're like, I'm in hell. <laughs> this is not worth it. No, this is not yeah. worth it. The end is near, and suddenly you're, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to go home? And I had like anxiety. You're institutionalized. I'm institutionalized. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what do you mean I get to go home? What, what's that going to be like? Right. And people are free? What's that <laughs> look like? Also, you couldn't have visitors, so you couldn't see your boyfriend and no. vice versa. Yeah. So you're like, you're in this thing. And then suddenly the people that I was with, like my cast members, it, it was like we were like holding on to each other for dear life. Like literally being like, nobody will ever understand this. <laughs> so you're, I mean, so people... So people can understand it even more. Obviously, everybody thinks it's the sexiest thing. You're on location. You're doing a show. But it, you're in a foreign country, and you're away from your, your family, and you can't get back. But what kind, of, like, what kind of accommodations did they give you? Were you in a nice hotel? Were you in a house? Where, where were you? Oh, no. Well, first of all, we have to rent our places. Right. When you're a regular, you put yourself up. Okay. I have a great apartment. You're all welcome anytime. It's my third year getting it. It's sick. It's right on the water. Thank God. Probably um, not coming. <laughs> I love Vancouver. Actually. Listen, Vancouver's a great city. Is it, Whistler is an hour Whistler's and a half yeah. drive. Yeah. So I'm just saying. In the winter. But. Summer's beautiful there too. I have this dope spot. And let me tell you. <laughs> it rains 90% <laughs> of the time in Vancouver. <laughs> so not only are you already just in COVID hell. I was like. Depressed. I'm depressed. Pressed. Now, I want to just let people in on you a little bit so they don't listen and go, oh, it's so hard. Oh, whoa, is yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you something. I've worked with Emmanuel for six, seven years, yes. eight years. You have never, stop, ever. Stop pounding your fist on the table. I'm not pounding a fist. I'm just very powerful. <laughs> I have. You have never, ever complained. Emmanuel was one of the easiest yeah. I mean, you were but easy I, too, but I, not, I, I, not quite like her. You and I, I had a couple. You and I had a couple calls. I like. You were, you I were scared call, for me. You I, were I would call Emmanuel, and and, and Zoom, I was like, oh, how? I so, said, yeah, I spoke to Emmanuel. I was like, I don't know. She was pretty much hysterically crying thirty <laughs> seconds into the conversation. By the way, I still feel it now. I don't think you're recovered from this. <laughs> I said I, she was hysterically crying at the thirty second mark of the conversation. But other than that, we we you came back what? around, and I think she's doing good. Yeah, yeah. I love you so much. You know what you said to me on one conversation i i think while it might have been true it was also an attempt to make me feel better <laughs> kev goes he's like he's like oh, Ab, i gotta tell you he's like it's a shit show over here in la <laughs> like people are getting robbed <laughs> things true. are happening you don't want to be here right now <laughs> you want to be locked up in that apartment in vancouver with your boyfriend in another country nice <laughs> rainy rainy <laughs> scenario Cozy. happening you know we were also the other thing i i tell emmanuel you know now that she's on Superman and Lois, Doug, she will, for the rest of her life, literally, I mean, M, come on, whatever, we can talk, we'll talk figures here, but Emmanuel, f moving forward, if she hustled at the Comic-Con thing, yeah. for the rest of her life, till the day she dies, can make six figures a year bouncing around to these Comic-Cons based on these two. And we had the joke about when we went to uh, Saudi Arabia <laughs> and no nobody knew, up. nobody showed up at our booth. Emmanuel said, well, I got news for you. That line's around the block. That's what uh, he said. Really? Yeah, those, those, co really? those Comic-Cons are crazy. So how do we steal some of your people and get can them into, like, ramble on? you line me and Dylan up next to you in Saudi you know? Arabia? <laughs> oh, my God. We put a little cape on Connolly. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and how that's the other thing I wanted to ask you. How is it w acting in these sort of hyper reality costumes, stunts, all that sort of stuff? Um, that's a great question. Um, <laughs> no, it, it really is because you know, okay, so Todd Helbing, who used to write yeah. on Entourage way, way back, yeah, uh, is our showrunner. Oh, who's what? Easily one of the greatest humans. Oh my God, on that's the planet. awesome. Yes, and he speaks so highly of you. I've made Thank the connection. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> And we laugh all the time because it's what a small world. Like he's like, wow, I can't believe you're on my show, but I started on Entourage. That's, that is awesome. Very small circle. But one of the things, one of the reasons that I decided like I can do this was I had a meeting with Todd and he was like, look, it's not just a superhero show. What it is is like Friday Night Lights 
meets a superhero show. So all the things, all the characters are super grounded. So, and especially my character, like it's, I'm, you know, do you know what character lane. she plays, Doug? I mean, I thought she played Lois, no? No, no. Lana Lang. <laughs> Jesus. I, but I'm I sorry. love you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I love you for I'm assuming sorry. that I... <laughs> of course. Like, Superman what are they crazy? By the way, if I was your agent, Lois you'd be playing Clark, fucking Lois. Lois and Clark, I mean, and you play Lois. Like, I'm assuming she plays Lois. Right? <laughs> I mean, She's I'm Lana sorry, Lang. That's... She's Lana Lang. Yeah, I, I, stupid, stupid... I don't know who Lana Lang is. So Lana Lang was Superman's first love. Is this... This is in the comic book world. Oh, you were a nerd. You should, you I, I mean, this? I love Christopher Reeve as Superman, but I, I, I don't remember Lana Lang. But in the comic Lana world, Lang. Lana Lang was was yeah. his first his girlfriend. First, yeah. right? his first oh, okay. Girlfriend. So you're causing problems between Lois. No. So okay. now <laughs> we are all, all in Smallville, but we're all married. We have kids. So the landscape, like if if you saw it, you'd be like, oh, I understand the Friday Night Lights reference because it's a small town. It's very family. Rainy. Small rainy town. Small <laughs> rainy town that's supposed to be like Kansas. Right. Uh, anyway. Is that where that meteor fell, theoretically? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I so, mean, right? I, I Somewhere, right? You're close. I don't, I'm not a, we're, I'm we're not a comic guy. I Superman, just don't... the guy came in, he, 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 he let, crashed in the comet. Like Batman. Yeah, I was, I would, somewhere when I was a kid, I would Somewhere only, in the very Midwest. When I was a kid, I would only watch the Batman episodes when uh, Batgirl's bike came on, because I right. knew I was going to see her. Right. And you liked Robin and his little tights. No, I, think, I like Batgirl. Sure. I just said it. And Catwoman. Catwoman. <laughs> yeah, sure. Time. And I honestly, I thought... I'm actually upset that you're not Lois now. And I don't even, even know that Lana's no. not a bigger person no, than Lois. I have no idea. By the way, I'm actually so glad that it worked out that way because I get to, like, Lois just plays Lois. I get to be Lana Lang, who in this season's become the mayor of Smallville, but also. You're the mayor? Yep. <laughs> Go but is Superman like is Lois like are you fucking Lana Lang behind my back? That doesn't happen. No. They don't say that on the it's CW. Not, it's oh, not. The the, God. Honest to God, this incarnation of the show, they we're not like pitted against each other. Okay. It's like we're adult. We're parents now. Right. So it's I water get to under the do, bridge, Doug. It's, it's water, under, water the bridge. under the bridge. You know, it's bridge. funny because in in Rambalana, we'll see where this goes. But in the original pilot, before I realized that Emmanuel was not available to us because she's Lana Lang on the CW, because I really, I'm like, we're. I told Conley, I'm like, we're getting Emmanuel. He's like, you're not getting her. When she's, she's she's in fucking locked she's down locked in, in a rainy apartment. In but Toronto. I had written it. The the show started because the show just a little heads up to people. It's Kevin Connolly in Action Park Media being himself with Zulai, who plays his his woman. But the the way I started the show was Emmanuel was holding Connolly's baby. Well, I have twins. Okay. And, and, you and, and, Zulai and he walked twins. into the office and said, what's up, babe? <laughs> and we saw that Zulai was sitting across from me. So it was there. But what I wanted to happen, I wanted, and I still want to, which I shouldn't give it away, but I, I want to have some tension at some point with Emmanuel and Zula, even though in real life you guys oh, are, are they're like, great they're friends. They're spiritual. But this is scripted. No, I mean, Lana yes. Lang's not even a real person. They La do that show. By so the I can... way, Zula and I would have the best time. Yeah, yeah. I know. The best. I know. Yeah. So, yes. You guys would be listening, and, and let me tell you, you guys you know, listening to positive affirmation. And by the way, do <laughs> you, know, that you know how the world of Entourage hated that Connolly got Emmanuel. They're like, oh, this is ridiculous. When <laughs> Zula and Emmanuel are fighting over Connolly, there will be riots, <laughs> and then we'll get lines at Comic-Con at that point. So. I have a, I have a question. <laughs> and how does, and forgive me because I'm pretty good at this, better yeah. than Doug. How does Lana Lang have superpowers? In the alternate universe. Like so the Spider-Verse. There's, there's Bizarro World. Right. So our alternate universe is called Bizarro World. Okay. And I am uh, Bizarro Lana. Right. So why I was saying that's so cool is that I get to play, you know, the mom, the mayor, the mayor. thing. Which, by the way... I love like they got a Tulsi Gabbard vibe. So much they write really <laughs> meaty. By the way, this is all coming like, together for me now. I apologize, I haven't watched the <laughs> no, show. No, I'm okay. going to now, but now because Emmanuel, uh, we, we had a problem when we were shooting with you because you you uh, you separated your shoulder, and I was like, why, I don't yeah, know. Are you doing? I was stunts? like, why is Lana? Uh, why is Lois Lane separating her shoulder? But now you're Lana Lang, and you actually are like you're a superhero in this. Yeah, I'm a hundred percent. Oh, when I saw you, your Instagram and you were in like. Costume. I was like, I've seen that too. I thought that was on. Halloween shit. I didn't know that was for the it show. Is. I know. And then I sent. Yeah, you a Doug. Picture. She put that on for the old uh, no. Vancouver Wait. gathering. <laughs> the when I sent a picture to Olivia because I wanted to show my makeup 
because I thought I was going to be coming from set on a day where I was playing Bizarro Lana. Right, yeah, like, Doug was like, can she just wear that? And I, <laughs> I can't. I will get in so much trouble. I thought right, you can't. Awesome. Right, exactly. If he, if I he, wanted <laughs> you to be on the set in your costume. But anyway, we didn't, you know, uh, so everyone knows, we didn't get to get Emmanuel in she was, with the crew. So I we know. shot a little funny thing with her and Dylan over FaceTime, but... I don't know. It's fine. It's it's good. It's funny as hell, but we had it's some technical it. issues. It's in there, right? What? It's it's de- we're debating. No, it's not. It's it's we're debating it. Still, you got you, it's, you got cut. You landed on I, the cutting room floor. No, it, she's not on the cutting room we'll floor. We'll talk about I, it. After. I think. Are it's, we reshooting that? Maybe. Maybe. I want okay. you guys. I want you guys live together. Uh, in, but it's really funny. So there's a chance it could be an we'll episode two. Like, you know, we'll talk about it off air. But Con- um, Connolly, Connolly has no sense. Off the air, <laughs> yes. But, but so it, listen, so you are doing stunts. Like, are you on wires or do you I, have a yes. stunt double? I mean, okay, so before I dislocated my shoulder, I was training um, like three, four times a week with a – uh, a martial arts master and like <laughs> cool stunt coordinate. It was amazing. And I felt so good and I felt so strong. And we were doing like choreography because Superman, they don't do kicks. Like it's all very Superman does upper. not kick. Exactly. Yes, he's upper body. So that's, there's like a style. <laughs> You're creepy, bro. Batman be, kicks. Superman does I not. I love that you Why doesn't so Superman much? kick? He, he doesn't kick. He just doesn't. He I have throws. seen. I remember Christopher Reeve kicking someone no, you like don't. into a bus. No, you don't. No? No. Mm. No. Like he doesn't kick. That makes total unlikely. sense. Does he have weak legs? Or no, he just throws killer right hands. It's <laughs> just he just like, pushes it's you. like a thing. It's like, it's like different comic book characters are going to have different things. And Superman's he's is not a kicker. he's a... This. I hate that I'm uh, I'm not more of a comic book nerd right now. Babe, kind of I've it. learned it yeah. all in the past so, two years. So, <laughs> so do you have your 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 Brad Pitt to to your Leo? Do you have your your double that you hang with that looks like you and is dressed like you? Yes. Do you have your Once Upon a Time in Hollywood God. moment. And let me tell you, she she's a beast, right? She's a beast, <laughs> and right. she just. But I want to hear about this separated me. shoulder. How does this happen? So okay, so all right. I'm training. It's the day of shooting. We're out in the field. It's freezing cold. I'm in my costume. Tyler, Tyler Hecklin, who you know, he was in Saudi Arabia with us. He plays Superman. We're like marking the thing, and it's like a proper fight, okay? So we're marking it, marking you're it. You're not fighting Superman. Who are you fighting? You're yeah, fighting. I'm fighting to get- no, you're Superman. you're fighting, but you're doing it but like we're slow. We're marking it like, like slow, but slow motion. Filming. No, no, no. I get it. But in the you scene, haven't done a fighting bunch of fight scenes. I'm fighting Superman. But your first love. Yes. yes. But there's but no I'm, sexual tension in this. World. I'm in Bizarro, Bizarro World. Stop acting like you even know what the fuck that is. Bizarro World. <laughs> so All right, it's go. alternate universe. Yeah. So, I go to block a punch. You have to remember, it's freezing out. Right. Oh. I go to block a punch, and he ages. He hit it pretty hard. Right. But fine. And I'm like this. I'm like, oh, oh my God. And it, for a second, you're like, no, wait, I can just click it back in. Oh. Right? Like, so that's the feeling. And you're like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, uh, you start crying. Probably. And then, you know, you start hyperventilating because yeah. yeah. when it's fully out, oh. you can't Ooh. walk, you can't breathe, you can't do anything. When it's a little out, it's like it's Mel like, Gibson got to slam it against the car door, like, and leave the weapon. Like, that's what they would want to do, right? Nobody would do it because of liability. Right. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm two, you guys, this is the best story you've ever heard. I'm two hours in the middle till I get to the emergency room. Oh. Okay. I'm in my superhero outfit. <laughs> I get to emergency, and they have to. The, one of the costume dressers is with me, and the doctor's like, "Well, we're gonna have to." And they're yanking. I'm screaming, and they're like, "Well, we have to cut the oh. costume off." And I'm like, "Nobody touch me!" <laughs> Nobody touch my costume. Like I can't. Like I, I like, yeah. couldn't can't move. Cost. Separated shoulder is bad. It was yeah. terrible. So they give me some morphine. God, nice. I start to relax. They give me like something to relax me even more. They cut my costume, and the nurse is like. So, dear, who are you fighting? <laughs> and I look, and I'm, like, drugged. And I've been, like, in pain for two You mean, like, she doesn't know you were on a set? Yeah. And I'm, like, <laughs> so I look at her, I'm, like, Superman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, all right, this is, what is it, a Section 51? What do they do when they... they 5150. They, yeah, we they got they a 5150 here. <laughs> I was fighting <laughs> Superman. <laughs> who are you fighting? Suddenly, they're, like, oh, you're in costume. Oh, oh they got it. Yeah, and I'm in, like, Full makeup with like <laughs> mascara, like <laughs> bleeding down that my is, face. That was like super amazing. bizarro. How long does it take you to get into costume? <laughs> no, not long. Not long. Ten minutes. Wow. 
Wow. But that's, I mean, it's pretty cool. I'll show, you, I'll show you a great picture after. It was uh, hilarious in hindsight. That's amazing. So anyway, so from that point on, I'm done. You're like, I'm not fighting anybody. I'm not fighting anybody. I have the greatest stunt double. I've I've dislocated my shoulders so many times on set that I'm like, I'm, are you serious? Yeah. This is not the first time. No, this did you is have surgery? My fifth time on set on the yeah. same show. No, oh, just over the course of my career. And right. Are you? Um, uh, did you have surgery on this one? No. So they popped it back. They popped and it. Then, I've been like strengthening, but I'm just like I'm done. Right. I'm like, you know what? And at a certain point, who needs like, it was Tom so Cruise, it was like fun you know? for a sec because right. I I enjoy being physical. Right. But I was like, I can't, man. Like, you know what, Emmanuel? I think Jerry Ferrara was there on my last basketball game ever, which said I ran a basketball game for years and I would play and it was my favorite thing in the world. And uh, I, which you are younger and healthier, but. These things happen. I ran into somebody very simply in a basketball game like this with my hand. And all of a sudden, it felt like somebody shot me. Oh, God. And, and nothing really happened. It was one of the most like non-contact injuries when you go, yeah. I'm too old for this shit. And I, everyone was looking at me, are you all right? And like, I was trying so hard to be tough, tears streaming down my <gasps> face. I broke my hand in two places from oh. nothing. And I was like, and I, I, don't, I haven't had a lot of breaks in my life. So that was the last time I played basketball. I walked off like, oh. uh, like uh, Willis Reed in the uh, 73 championship when he came in, Connolly. Right. I walked I'm off sure. and never, I've never played basketball again, and I, I switched the pickleball. But it was, it was terrible. But my point uh. is, is like we get to this point where, and you're much, much, much younger than me. But... You start to not recover as not really. quickly. You are. You Tell are. me about it. I mean, listen, I, I, I still never fully recovered from breaking my leg. For sure It not. still hurts? Yeah. That was on Especially, the set. Especially, I bet you, if it's like cold or humid. By the or... way, that is people, I always thought, well, that's weird that people say that. It is 100% Oh, yeah, fact. yeah, of course. Whatever. I can, with the blinds closed, I can wake up and go, it's cloudy out yeah. or it's raining. Do you think you know? that leg injury affects your adult hockey league uh, I Maybe. I should start. Because Connolly, by the way, is he's... He's very close to getting cut from his adult hockey league <gasps> team, but because he's a celeb, they kind of keep him on yeah, the ice. I definitely get a little <laughs> leeway. Yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely a little out. Yeah, but I, listen, I look at this. I'm covered in bruises. Like, yeah, but I didn't even know that you were at, on an actual team. Oh, yeah, tomorrow night, 9 o'clock, if you're <laughs> yeah. not busy. Oh, <laughs> you know, she's like, yeah, I'd rather be in lockdown than yeah, go to that game. And, yeah, exactly. But it, it's funny. I was telling like, when I leave the house, Zula doesn't say have fun or good luck. Terrible. She says, don't. Get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but she doesn't say it. Uh, She's like dead serious. Like, just don't get hurt. Just yeah. come Babe, home. I can hear piece. her. Babe, just don't, don't get, get hurt. hurt. Right. That's, the, that's, the that's nice. Does it. she like massage you when you come home or no? She sees that I'm in one piece. And then, you know, but, but it's a nine o'clock game. She's long asleep. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, <laughs> What else? Oh, we were going to talk. Oh, tell we. So we got together, Manuel and I got together with uh, our significant others at um, a spot on the beach the other day. You were, you guys were out of town. I was not invited. I was nowhere. Out no, of you town. were out of town. It's fine. You were. So out I don't of town. have to be invited everywhere. We've been over this. No, no, no. But I. <laughs> we were in New York. Yeah, did I? You were. I. I believe you, Lana. <laughs> <laughs> but we, but we actually we actually ate at a restaurant that was almost directly under. The spot where Emmanuel and I did the, the, the proposal. proposal. Holy yep. shit! What, what Joffrey's? What are you talking like, about? Like no, out there though. Like there's a new spot. I, we're not going to say it, right, Em? Right? We're not allowed to say it. No. We'll, 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 air, we'll tell you. We'll tell you off air. But it's yeah. this little little <laughs> hidden gem there in Malibu. Hidden gem. And um, we were right under that spot. And I remember we were t- we were talking about Emmanuel's. Like really, Emmanuel's no idea. What we were <laughs> I remember it. But we basically the car skids off the road in the dust, and I jump out of the car and I propose to Emmanuel. But I had. You know, I had on whatever. I had on like <laughs> these pants that I were kind of tight, I guess. And and Mylod made me have my Mark wedding Mylod, ring. Our director. our director, he made me wear. I'm like, Mark, can I just pull the ring out of my pocket? I have this. I'm having this thing. I have a big knot. You didn't want to. You didn't want to give the box. I remember this like it was yesterday. It was like, like, you have to give the box. It's like a giant box. But I'm like, well, do we have a smaller box? Yeah. And Mylod was like, this is the only box that <laughs> that immediately says that it's not a blood, blood diamond. diamond. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure people noticed that. He was so, he was so, he was so, he was so. I did speak to you about the he box. He made a point. The fact that your pants point. were this tight is so ridiculous. tight to have this kind of box yeah. in it. I, and I in mean, any pant, it would have showed. It was a box. I got to tell you <laughs> right. two things about the proposal. This is not a box that goes into your pants. <laughs> Can I tell you something <laughs> weird? I saw that scene recently because, yeah. like, there's some uh, site, I forget, they, they post entourage clips all the time. Yeah. It 
got me emotional. Oh, yeah. I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm, I'm, I was weird. And then it I also, know. did you see, just side note, did you see the Disneyland? The guy tried to propose to his I girlfriend was, yeah, and awesome. some guy ran, some guy from Disney ran in the middle of him and his proposal and grabbed the well, ring. Well, they weren't supposed to up. be up there. No, well, that's disputed. That's, but yeah, either way, this guy literally, can you imagine he did that to Connolly? He oh. scooped the diamond ring and went <gasps> and went like, like, no, you oh. don't do this here. <laughs> oh, was, yeah. no. We, no we, we used to, some of the stuff that we used to do, like, uh, it's crazy. Well, even that, like skidding on the side of the road. I mean, like, thank God I happen to be an excellent driver. I know. But, um, do you remember you and I would, dr- we would literally, we would have a, and then when I would be in the, uh, what car was that? Aston Martin. The Aston yes. Martin. We had the walkie-talkie between us, and we would drive up and down the coast. Oh, my God, And, yeah. and all of a sudden, we, it, was, it was like a James Cameron movie. All of a sudden, you just see a helicopter. <laughs> I'm like, I'm assuming that's it. I think that's the helicopter. Let's, <laughs> let's start acting. Let's Because we would drive, and then we'd turn around, and we'd go, and they'd be like, all of a sudden, boom, a helicopter would come flying up, like, out of the, yes. out of the Remember that? Yes. Like, driving around. I was like, no, no Safety, not just us driving just in the car. And so tell me about wild. the skid. Like you felt like I, I, I could just, theoretically I, no, fly off the car. No, cannon. no, no. Of course I was very well aware, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm good at that. I'm a good, I'm a, how about this? You're an excellent I'm a, I'm driver. I'm a better technical driver. actor you're than I am an actor. Man. You're an excellent driver. I'm a better oh. technical actor than I am an actor. I know oh. not to, that I'm not, no way I, that, I send that car over the edge oh my God. with right. Manuel and I in it. I, for sure. I just like if I, if I was ever going to trust anybody with my life. Correct. Thank you, Em. You. you. Kevin but, but there was some dicey ones. There were some dicey ones, but you know what's funny? This has come up actually on several productions. If I have to drive in a production, they'll be like, so are you comfortable, you know, driving and Filming Talking. and I'm like, yeah, it's t- a like fair thing acting. to ask. It's a fair thing, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm trained, right? Yeah. <laughs> like my days on Entourage, all the even in my Porsche, a lot of phone calls, Em, a lot, lot of phone, phone calls, calls, a lot of driving calls. and 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 talking. talking. So I mean, for real, can you text and drive now too? Can you do that on the show? I'm a bit too good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to all stop that. Part. What? Texting and driving. It's terrible. It's, it's but terrible. wait, Doug, I gotta ask you something Tell me. because this is yeah. so timely. Yeah. Uh, so I had this. Interview today, downtown, lovely woman, just talking about life and career and blah, blah, blah. And she says to me, <clears throat> so who was Sloan modeled after? Mm. And I was like, huh, huh, that's a great question. I'm going to ask Doug. Because Entourage ended up being easily half of our conversation. Yeah. It just and for you know, a thousand and, and, different and, and reasons. You know, and you know who it was? It was Sloan from Ferris Bueller. And it's not that... That's where the name came from. It's not... That's where the name came from, but it's also... That was the girl that when we grew up was everyone's dream right. girl. And I wanted... And it's, it's interesting because you could have looked like you look and just not had that vibe that however it worked out for us where you did become that girl that everyone's like, I want that to be my girlfriend. It wasn't just because you're beautiful. It was because... And it wasn't anything that I wrote. It was because you bring that... That energy, and honestly, that's what she did in first view. Every kid loved her, but when also, they saw it, that it was girl. so. It's, it was also so. Um, it's a heightened. I mean, there, there's nobody. Heightened. There's nobody like that, right? Like, there's nobody oh, like listen, it. hang out with your friends every night. Go no out problem. with your friends. Not a problem. In fact, I'm going to bring my hot friend over, <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to have a threesome. We're have a threesome, and that's fine. <laughs> yeah, and then. All right, listen. Oh, oh, honey, oh, you, you want to have... There? That's fine. Wait, wait, <laughs> honey, you want to try anal? You want to try anal? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's do that. Absolutely. If that's what you want. I know I'm off doing uh, I'm charity go. work. I'm, I'm off doing charity work, but yeah. go hang out with your friends. Let's have <laughs> anal sex. I'll Every bring friends year. over. And listen, you can have sex with my stepmom. I'll get over it. <laughs> Not a big deal. Every year. Dude, when we, Doug, we, yeah. cover the, um, we cover these episodes. <laughs> Doug is so uncomfortable watching these episodes with some of the stuff in it. He's literally like crawling on the desk like, Doug, relax. It was 20 years ago. It's fine. I was an yeah, animal. Doug is like, he, he shrieks. We are going to have a heart attack when we watch, start watching that story. I, I mean, oh what my we God. have to be do, a tough one. Two things that, you know, so as an actor, Emmanuel, like, I'm sure. She's like, come on, give me some bite. Give me some this. But it was always like, it's hard to think about writing you as a bitch or an asshole. Like, you're just. <laughs> some of the stuff that we did was ridiculous. But I mean, the was anal sex so... thing was ridiculous. Wait, that, by the way, Kev threatens uh, I, every year to post this, this picture. No, that's <laughs> I gotta me. send you. No, it's but not listen, you. No. I've asked you before if I could post it. It is, I, it is a Pulitzer Prize winning picture. It, it is the it greatest is. picture of all time. First of and, all, it's a still. Claudette 
shot. It's yes. a set photographer shot. From the and anal I section. always say to Emmanuel, <laughs> throwback Thursday. She says, don't you, you dare. You took that from me. I've asked you in the past. Hey, uh, uh, you know, and the weird thing is, is Maybe because of Emmanuel. Emmanuel. I mean, Emmanuel it looks worse in still photo. <laughs> It well, doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Like, doesn't look as bad. Like when on the show, it's like kind of first like of all, funny. It, does, and cute. it doesn't look the bad at all disturbing. on the show. The picture Emmanuel looks I'm like pained. she's being tortured. I'm pained. It's so true. And, and there's the old Avion tequila bottle on there. Like before so they actually made the real bottle, it's it's actually it looks like a commercial. Like in the old days, you would have one day they would have said, "Oh yeah, try tequila and anal." Like that's By the way, what how it hard? Oh did, remember how hard we laughed that day though? Oh, remember how hard we were laughing? We were like hysterically laughing. You were like. Where's Connolly? Emmanuel's like, he's doing push ups. <laughs> They're like rolling. You're like, wait, Connolly, where'd Connolly go? Oh, he's right here. He's Connolly doing wanted push-ups. every ounce of chest pump that he could possibly get. But what was, oh, what was like, the fun times? We might have talked oh, about this before, but, but like, best. what was your, what was, if you remember, what was like the most fun scene you guys remember doing together, movie or on the show? Like, what was. Well, Emmanuel was very emotional at the season eight. You were emotional. Oh. The ending, the whole, yeah. the whole season. That was brutal. No, I mean, that le- I, I put myself into like a weird um, denial mode, which is probably what I've been doing most of my life. Like in terms of like, <laughs> I'm like not acknowledging that this moment is here. It's happening, yeah. Right? Where Emmanuel was like living like in the moment. Like when we're standing in the, in the, the bottom of the steps, it was like, oh. it was real stuff. It was you real. Know? It was real. It was real. It was like an end of a... It really, it did. It felt like that. It was like, I remember, I mean, we all know this about me. It's like not saying anything new, but I'm a very emotional, very effusive, mushy-gushy person. And I literally, I think I wrote you at rap a letter where I was like, I, you will always be my first someone that I had a baby with. (laughs) That's right. You will always be the first person that ever proposed to me because no one's ever asked me to marry them. Just by the way, what the which fuck is, is up with that? I got two pickleball players in the hallway. Will probably How do it. I feel like people have asked that? me per- for permission for you. Yeah, yeah. By the way, they ha- that's not even a joke. There's people you know, Emmanuel, who've said, I will fly her what anywhere on the planet. Do? What do I have to what do? do? Isn't that Remember hilarious? That? And like people wanted to marry Sloan, but. So wait, you what have a boyfriend now? I mean, we, right. I don't want oh, to yeah, get no, personal. No, 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 we're good. It's and also, insane. I don't it's want it, so it's also like you don't want. It's I mean, not by the way, that's them. the other thing you people need to understand. She's such a per- perfect girlfriend in real life. Also, she also doesn't push anyone to marry her. I mean, it's <laughs> unbelievable. Like this woman is. You know, special. there's two kinds. Of, there's two. We did like the the helicopter stuff and that kind of stuff was fun stuff. But yeah. we also laughed a lot. Like you know what oh. sticks out to me? Do you remember? And this is the movie. And this was on my birthday. The Lamaze class scene oh with Chad Lowe, God. it just, it just, it I just, still think Chad Lowe is one of the funniest people just, I've ever been on a set with. He like was we, It got me. to the point where we, we talked about this when he was on here. Like, you know, you laugh at somebody and like at the first laugh is like complimentary. Like, oh, I'm doing a good job. Yeah. Right. And then the second laugh and then. Emmanuel and I are like literally like, all right, Emmanuel, you got you're triggering my left. We have to we have to try to do this. It's this guy's close up. We gotta stop laughing. We fucking ruined four takes. Yeah. Ruined four of the guys' takes. We, we were literally inconsolable. We couldn't it was look just, at him. And then we and then we couldn't look at each other. It just it was like we needed to take By a the break. Way, and like walk I said, away. I forget every time what it is. I'm rem- I remember he's like whispering no, he like, goes, How are you? No, he but goes, like <laughs> and I'm like looking at him and I'm like holding the fake baby. I'm like you know, you know Chad Long? <laughs> How do you know Chad Long? Like, oh, that's a good Chad. Thanks. A good Shell Chad. Shell is E kicks in. Oh. Oh. How are you? So, my God. So do you know this, though, Emmanuel? So Chad was on the podcast, and Chad <laughs> is a uh, good people. Connolly, for some bizarre reason. It's not that bizarre. Wait, he, I was on when Chad was on. Oh, yeah. What is that? I was in Malibu. About throwing his wife in the pool. No, Emmanuel joined us. Live? No, she zoomed in. I zoomed with in. With Chad? Manuel zoomed in, with yeah. With Chad. Because he's a director, too, anything. right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we tried to get him a gig on Superman, Superman and Lois. Superman and Lois, yeah. Yeah, Doug, that's old news. Um, Sorry. But, Go on. But no, so I'm saying, like, to me, even like that day with the anal sex scene, like, it was just me and you and Doug. <laughs> And I remember yeah. the laughter times more. Like, you know, there's like the obviously the, the big ones where it's like whatever, Sundance or whatever, those yeah. kind of set pieces. Yeah. But I remember kind of the laughing things and the Chad Lowe thing sticks out to me <laughs> and the anal sex thing sticks out. And and uh, by the way, me and you and Malin had a great time too. There was we a had lot a of laughs. It was so the ridiculous. The sushi restaurant when all of us were <laughs> basically oh getting lit at the We got, <laughs> dude, we even dragged Mandy Moore into our debauchery. <laughs> 
when we were doing the scene. <laughs> Look that at Doug rolling his I mean, I remember trying to get <laughs> that through was that. A rough that one. round fucking table trying to cover everybody. Oh, right. my right. God. And it just got progressively worse rowdier and, and rowdier. Everybody got more and more buzzed on Saki. Mandy Moore enjoyed us? I, Mandy Moore, had, listen, all I know is that a little Saki, Mandy Moore had a great time at that, right when we were shooting at that scene. But, um... Remember, uh, Dan Addis yelled at us. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we yeah, got yeah. we got yelled at by the director. It was like, but the worst part too, because it was like funny. Like everybody's laughing, laughing Same thing. until he right. cracked, and then, <laughs> and then we were like this. We were like sheepish. We were like, right. yeah, yeah, Dan Addis. Oh is my not god, the guy you want yelling? At. You know, it starts where <laughs> even even with the crew, like after a long day when when actors get the giggles, and it does happen. Yeah, and it's the best thing ever, and it's the worst thing ever because yeah. at a certain point you're tired. It just it just takes on a life of its own, yeah. and. The crew laughs. Oh, there's laughter. So the crew laughs the first time, right? Yeah. And then the second time, the laughter breaks out. The crew laughs a little less, and the director yeah. rolls his eyes. Take three. Everybody laughs. And now you're going like, the actors are literally like, all right, guys. No, stop. <sighs> it. Like, and the crew's going, go. the crew's I want like, to get, get the, the fuck, fuck out, out of here. Out of here. Yeah, so. Can you and guys then fucking... you're like in panic. Right. And you're just, Panic. and all it takes is one person. <laughs> all it takes is one person. If all, and there's six of us. And if all six of us aren't really locked in on not laughing, it, we'd still be there shooting the fucking scene. It was crazy. It was crazy. And we were buzzed on Saki. Oh, and we were buzzed on Saki. Oh, my God. Guys, oh, man. that's 15 years ago. Oh, God. Is no. That, is that God. nuts? I mean, it really doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. And, that's uh, pretty wild. It doesn't, because you know what, too? Sorry, again, going back to this interview today. She goes, She goes. so I was looking up, you know, I was looking you up, and I pulled this quote that you had said that, you know, uh, uh, you know, entourage was a reflection of like what really happens, and you know, people calling it misogynistic. Like, would you still, you know, defend it? And I was like, a hundred million percent, <laughs> yeah. I would. Tell, tell her. And I was like, it. It, it, no. And she was like, oh, that's so interesting. Like, tell me more. And I'm like, because it's like real. She, I go, I go. Do you understand that there were times like if we would read a script, any one of us could be like, Doug, come on. Seriously, was that real? And you'd be like, oh my God. <laughs> tame, that's the tame, that's yeah. the tame version. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I'm like, but anyway, saying that, I was like, and you know what? I would like today, we were talking about typecast and just like all the things that we go through as actors. And I was like, you know what? I would do it all again in a fucking <laughs> heartbeat. Right. In we're, a heartbeat. I think we're going to do it again. I really do. I think I think we're eighteen months away from them going like do a reboot, do do eight episodes, do ten. Oh, I I hundred percent believe that. Now we'll we'll be on ramble on and I'll have to negotiate it. Well, but, you have to uh, just explain to Manuel why you cut her seat out of the show. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it's not, off just, the air, Doug. <laughs> off the air. <laughs> the scene is is <laughs> hanging. The scene was always a. Like yeah. after credit scene, so we just have to figure out because the tone of the of the ending, which we won't talk about, leaves you in a certain state. And this is it is laugh out loud funny, so it it's will be somewhere. The, it's comedy, not comedy in the wrong it's place. Not, it's it's not it's not got it. It's not not going somewhere, but whether it's episode two or whatever. But the real the real thing is we need you in in live and Look, acting. Look, listen. And the bottom line is I was announced with all of you guys. That's, <laughs> That's all true. I care about. <laughs> I'm like, if there is a future for Ramble On, I am there. <laughs> By the way, that was a, that was a big thing. The announcement was a big thing, and and you know, someone actors, always gets hurt. Everybody, you know, people, but and every single time there is an announcement, somebody gets butt hurt. Every single. We time. only had one jerk who got time. hurt. About every time it, but, there's an announcement, but, but we'll, gets we'll leave excited. that for another time. We had one psychotic asshole who didn't like the announcement. That's that nice. wasn't even released. By the, no, 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 it was a that's, rough that's, cut. By the way, that's the toned down version of what it's I think a, of this right. person. Okay, oh, but, rough cut. Dear. but Emmanuel was nice enough to let us use her name when she knew she wasn't going to really be able to, yeah. to be in the show for the pilot. But I still think there's a world where you're in it, and I think uh, it, it'll be very fun oh, when we get you sure. guys So it. Superman and Lois is 22 episodes you do? No, 15. Oh, is that's that the new world now? Is that, is that the new like they don't Yeah, but, it? you know, for a network show, that's... Like, that's the new number. Is that the new number? It is. Like, less and less. Unless you're, like, on NBC or, you know, any of those right, networks. Right, right. People are cutting it back. I mean, you guys, and you it's don't also understand. Keeps Our up show the quality. is huge. It keeps up the level of quality as yes. well. I mean, think yes. about the difference, Doug, between 15 scripts and 24 scripts. Oh, I right? It's like, if the show and, will be four. better for, but the show will be better longer not doing yeah. 24 episodes. Absolutely. Right. And we couldn't. We'd be there all year. Right. And no one is signing up to be there all so year. So you go back when? 
Uh, September. September. All right. So you got a little. You got a little runway. So what yeah. you got in, September in between? September to anyway? what? September, if all goes well, to April. Anything in between for what we're going to hang for the summer or what's the plan? Hanging, first and foremost. And then uh, let's see. Do you know, I I, I was so exhausted when I got home and so just needing to just, just a lot of shit this year, as you well know. I just really needed, like, I I bowed out of a friend's film, like, that was going to go right when I finished. And I just, I literally... You know I love working. Yeah. But there comes that it always comes back to this this talk we've had this so many times on this about mental health. Yeah. And I just was like I need to be home. I need to grieve. I need to just allow myself to be where I am because I'm no good to anybody. You couldn't go from that set to another set. There's, There's no Kev, way. there the was reset, no yeah. way. Right. And because also I was just holding so much back and just right. I needed the safety of being home. Right. And I just, um, so the rest is like travel. It's like pure summer plans, like Good. dinners with people that I love and just fun little travels. And then look, if something cool comes up, like a, I'd love to do an indie maybe in August, right. late July, August. Just Get the blades sharpened up well, before you head out Also, too, there. you know how it is when you're on a show, you just always want to have something else in the can. Right, yeah. Just right. something else. That's something different. Something right? different. Knows? You know, maybe just that, to talk about. Totally. Whatever. So that is ideal, but who knows if that's going to happen. Well, I'm excited to see it. I can tell you for us, because you know how Entourage was, and this was the same thing. We had such a, a casually great time doing this. Like, yeah. I was like, that's it? Like, it we shot we shot eight days, then we came back for one day, and then I'm like, I could do, I could honestly do our show the way we did with the people we worked with. 10 months a year without even, not the writing, obviously. That's a whole different hell that, that right. Todd Helbing will, will let you in on. But, uh, <laughs> no, you know, it's it, a hell, yeah, for it's sure. A, it's a hell. But the, the production, we just had such a good group. We're in L.A. I Everyone's saw. Everyone's in bed at night. Oh, so my we're, gosh. Hell, we're going to get you. We're going to get Listen, you. Listen, don't feel bad. Kennedy also got cut from the uh, show. <laughs> Would you stop? Emmanuel absolutely what? did not get cut. Emmanuel it is not and cut. Kennedy got cut. He's, he's, listen, I'm in good company. Yeah, yeah. Listen, it goes to show. I don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. It's, it's the Doug, scene. Doug, will is, be seen. Doug, is, Doug says to me like, "So you're gonna see some things in this con? Like, don't go crazy." I'm like, "Go crazy? What are you talking about?" I watch the scene. I'm like, "What? What are you talking about?" He's like, "Kennedy." I was like, "Oh, I didn't, I didn't even I didn't even notice that she got cut until Doug said something." <laughs> Believe me, I'm not trying to have Kennedy on the show. Oh right? Oh my god. She's a, a, a you know a cheap baby to have around. You know. We've got oh. such a good. We've got such a good. Group, group though and I that know, like I everybody heard. everybody's been involved and and you know even you know we came up with the, the show changed two nights ago when it's been done and locked again for the second time just because Wild. we had a conversation and uh it, it's interesting because charlie is such a a good teammate also which you mm. know he watches dailies for scenes that he's not in which is crazy yeah, wow. he actually enjoys Kevin's He's acting. He's like invested. <laughs> he's a hundred percent invested, and he's been. I mean, his father's in it. He he's he's really helped uh, shape the script. So is so is Kevin and Kevin. Him. You know, yeah. and it's been really it's been fun. Everybody, it's Jamie. It's been it's been Jamie's great. the best. I mean, Jamie's the best. I literally ju- guys. I just spent the weekend with her up in Mendocino. Oh yeah, for so a that friend's on the, wedding. Uh, old IG. So that on the old uh, Instagram. Yo, did we laugh? I mean, I can't. I I just couldn't love that girl more yeah. than I do. Yeah. We just laughed and laughed, and I, we were talking about you and literally just how much we all love her. Right. Like she's so, uh, she's such a stellar human yeah. and so funny. Like it was she's really gr- a great she's, weekend. I can't wait for you to see her. She's great in the show. She's oh, got I'm a, sure. a couple of really big laughs. But uh, and you know who we had on last? Was it last week that we had on David Nutter? Came on. And, wow. You know, I was talking about the time traveler's wife, and it's like, talk about a guy. I mean, this guy is a warrior. You know, he's you know he's got Parkinson's. I didn't know He's got know Parkinson's that. disease. His wife passed away, and he still is like I a machine. He, but he's directing on the highest levels of television. Right. And he's and he's and he's and he's sick. But my God, he he. How, it's how, one of the best interviews. I mean, it's for sure one of the best episodes we've done yeah. in, of of it. In he's a legend. Oh yeah, and if you Nutter. and if you by the way, 
Lois and Clark. I believe he did the pilot version. <laughs> I think he did the pilot for oh, Lois, Lois and Clark. Clark. Or Sorry. Smallville or one or one oh, of them. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, maybe yeah. Smallville. Yeah, I think he actually. did. Actually. But yeah. I mean he I mean it, like I, I told people like if you are at all interested in the business at all, this is an he interview. Is the I mean, just the things <gasps> he's talking about. Yeah. He did twenty one jump street. <laughs> Miami Vice. Miami Vice. I just from that and now he's like still doing the time traveler's wife and, uh, on on such a level and is you know, it, as his, his body is broken down, but his Aww. spirit is like bigger than ever. It was, well, he, it was said, really... he said when he works, he feels no pain whatsoever. That's how much he loves to do it. <gasps> oh so it was awesome. God. It was really, a, it yeah. was a great interview, but it also made me and Conley feel like shit because he's working nonstop and we do nothing. So. Right. And and, and he didn't, like, I suspected that maybe something was wrong when he came in, but he dropped it on us on oh, the air. Oh, he did. Yeah. Yeah, he told so us he's just air. super transparent. Oh, yeah, about I mean, I, I, he has right. to because listen, you know, the way it works is his brain is is fine. It's just yeah, his, his it's body. Just his it's body. His, right. So he's as long as he's got those marbles, he'll be directing uh, high end HBO shit for a long time. Listen, God bless him. Yep. Yeah. Great but guy. you know what else too? I think that that's you know I was having this conversation with Jamie, like times are really different, and I think that people are so much more vulnerable and transparent than they've ever been, mm-hmm. right. and I think like. What what's the point of like hiding what you are? Right. It's like a, a situation is what it is, right. and you're just going to put your best foot forward, and let's just be real with each other. Yep. And I think that that is more prevalent now than ever. Right. Like nobody has time for that. Just bullshit. Yeah. It's right. like we learned that there's no time for that. Yeah, I agree. And so like. You know, even for Jane, like being so open about what she battles with, and oh, I'm she sure. was very open with us here. I'm sure, yeah. And j- so, anyway, for anyone's listening, we're talking about Jamie Lynn, but she, Jamie Lynn Sigler, but she's she's got MS and she's great. She's in great health, great spirits. But we talked about it, like yeah. you know, actually her character on the show actually dealing with it in a realistic, right, grounded way. So we'll, right. We'll right. see how exactly. we do going forward because Jamie, yeah. she just got picked up as a regular on uh, on uh, Big Sky. Big yeah. Sky, yeah. yeah. So yeah. hopefully everybody's she's available. on Big Sky. Everybody's somewhere except you and I, Kevin. We're <laughs> right here. So <laughs> right here every day. You can oh. find. I me. invited you to Vancouver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would love. Doug's to Doug's like sure, yeah. Uh, I would love Doug's to come. Not, and I would Doug's love not coming to Vancouver. Ask yeah. Todd Helbing why Superman cannot kick anybody. It makes no sense. No, to me. it's I mean, just not what he does. Uh, by the way, I would love nothing more than to have drinks and bring you guys. That'd be awesome. He Superman can kick if he with wants. His eyes. He goes, mm, he has yeah, eyes. He, does. he can burn things. He has eye beams. Way, so does Bizarro Lana. <laughs> you, do, you, you have eye beams? What color are your eye beams? <laughs> blue. You have blue eye beams? <laughs> It's on tonight, actually. It, all right, a let's do a plug. I'm just trying to picture you in the middle of the episode. pandemic. Giant episode for Bizarro Lana tonight okay. on the CW, 8, 7 Central. Super well, this Animals. is going to air tomorrow, so people so, won't oh. know. So you watch it on so, Hulu? So, can you watch it on Hulu? So you can watch it on the app, on the CW app, CW and then app. eventually it'll stream on the on HBO Max. I'm just trying to think about the patients and the doctors at the hospital. You come in in this sexy <laughs> costume with a with your arm, so your, your well, drug. Out of your mind, talking about Superman. They probably see some weird shit, right? I mean, mean, they they see some weird shit. Of course, but like clearly, for sure, when I left, they had a. I'm sure they had a laugh about that. (laughs) She or she (laughs) fought Superman. (laughs) Jesus Christ, we got to lay off the. (laughs) <laughs> the, uh, the dosage yeah. on the uh, morphine. Yeah, she thought she was fighting <laughs> Superman. Can't. She thought Superman could kick people. I, I still, can't. I need to check that out. I don't I believe know, Superman can't I, throw a kick if he had to. Lang and me telling you. It, it, like, he couldn't if he I mean, needed he to. No, 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 no. He chooses he, not he to can. kick people. But the like, choreography he doesn't think it's honorable. is not leg heavy. Okay, he's more right. of a boxer. It's arm All right, more. right. Batman, he likes to kick people. All Superman right. hits you with eye beams and he punches you. That's All it. Right. Well, I'm, yeah. excited. Right. I'm excited to watch it, and I love you for coming in. And, and we love you. Thank guys, you so much. Love you. And we'll do, Thank uh, you. We'll do a dinner with, uh, with the girls, with Let's everybody. Yes, and, uh, 100. And, and everybody check out. I'm going to actually watch it tonight, I promise you. So I'm going to find, <laughs> and maybe I got to read, maybe you could send me some of your favorite comic episodes <laughs> so I can learn a little bit about the background, <laughs> Kev. Since you know so much about Superman. And lastly, I will I will tell people that they can start watching these episodes on uh, the Action Park Media YouTube. Oh wow! Oh, three is years that in. True? Wow. Yeah, subscribe. So I'm going Give live. Me a like. Yeah, you can. Give me a live, like. but you'll be uh, you'll be on. But we're getting the YouTube going, Doug. You look right, good on mix. you look good on YouTube. Wait, so are you guys going to edit little clips and then we like? No, the whole show. Hey. I mean, this is a clean episode. Nothing gets cut out of this episode. This will go. This will be on. Yeah, YouTube. they make little uh, video clips. Yeah, yeah. They make Fine. social clips. But we're going to full clips. episodes going on. Well, so. Let's start right. doing it. So. We're going to put right. blue eye beams in you. All right, thanks for joining <laughs> us, and we love you. <laughs> love you. Victor, the podcast. We shall return.